Excuse me? Hi. I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, and I'm sorry to drag snow into your cabin like this. I'm so sorry. I'm such a screw up. But, um, it's just, uh, it's just, well, it's really snowing hard outside. And it has been for a while. And I was wondering if I could take shelter here. Just until the snow subsides. Though I don't think that will happen anytime soon. It's just, it's really freezing outside. It's the coldest I've ever seen it get. And even my fur isn't really doing anything to keep me warm. I always thought my fur was dense as far as wolf girls go, but the temperature outside is just ridiculous. No amount of fur is going to help me there. But it's so warm in here. It's so nice and cozy. You've got a fire. You've even got blankets and... Wow, those look super comfortable. <laughs> so, can I stay? Just for a little while. Oh, thank you so much. I have no idea how I could ever repay you. I thought I was going to die out there. Are all humans as nice as you? I don't know, you're the only one I ever met. But you're really making a good impression here. <laughs> But I'm sure you don't care about what I think. You do really mean it, right? That I can stay. You weren't just messing with me. Oh, okay. Thank you so much again. It's just so hard to believe. <laughs> so hard to believe you'd actually care. I'll try not to make you regret letting me stay here for a while. I'll try not to be too annoying or make a mess or eat any... Wow, that food looks really, really good. But as I was saying, I'll try not to eat any... I'll try not to... Can I have some food, please? <laughs> Sorry, I know you already let me inside where it's nice and warm. I know you're giving me shelter against the freezing blizzard out there. I really don't have the right to ask for anything more. Not when you're letting this strange wild wolf girl into your home. <laughs> it's just... I haven't eaten anything in... Well, I can't remember the last time I ate a real meal. I was so desperate for food I even turned to eating grass or the bark of the trees. Obviously, that's not really nutritious or even much of a meal. But now there's not even grass out there. It's all just snow. So, could I have some food, please? I can beg if that will mean anything. Are you sure? Really? I know I said this already, but thank you so much. This means the world to me. Mm, this is delicious. And I don't think that's just because I haven't eaten anything in forever. I really think this is the most delicious thing I've ever eaten, before even taking my hunger into account. It's so savory, so good you have so much of it. How do you have this much? Did you hunt it all yourself? You must be an amazing hunter. To get all this food. You've got such a huge stockpile here. I wish I could hunt like you can. I can't hunt anything this delicious. By the way, sorry to ask, but could I have seconds, please? 
it's not too much of a problem. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to be such a bother. Oh. But like I was saying, I really wish I could hunt anything this delicious. Or hunt anything really. That's part of why I haven't eaten in so long. I'm horrible at hunting. Well, I'm horrible at a lot of things, really. But I'm particularly horrible at hunting. Even when it was warm, there was plenty of prey to hunt. I just never could get the hang of it. All the rabbits, all the deer, everything. They are way too fast for me and too alert. I could never get the jump on them. I guess I'm not sneaky enough. But even if I caught them, I'm not sure if my fangs and claws would be enough to finish it. I don't know. I just don't know. But maybe I shouldn't think about such things. I'm ruining such a wonderful moment here. This is probably the high point of my life. <laughs> I'm in a wonderful cabin, safe from the outside cold. All that freezing snow and howling wind. And I've got some amazing food. And there's so much of it too. Each of those cabinets are filled to the brim with food. Right? I can smell it. It could take me weeks to eat all the food you've got here. Not that I will. I'll try not to be a bother and I know you're only letting me stay here for a little while. <laughs> Unfortunately. But the thing that really makes this moment the best is you, of course. You've been so kind to me, I still don't know why you're doing it. But I'm not really in a position to question it. Not when I die without you. You're so kind. So caring. So tender. So merciful. You saved me. You really saved me when no one else would. Certainly not my old packmates. They are not nearly as kind and gentle as you are. They are the reason I was starving to death all alone out in the freezing cold. I mean, I guess it's kind of my fault and I kind of always screwed up as per usual. But still, they didn't have to be so mean about it. I told you, didn't I? That I can't hunt to save my life. Well, literally in this case. It's the reason my packmates got fed up with me and kicked me out. They were always so annoyed at my inability to catch anything. I kind of get it. <laughs> I'm annoyed at it too. It's just... I try to catch things, I really do. There isn't anything I put more effort towards. I always give a hundred percent when I hunt. I always run hard enough to boil my blood. I always keep my eyes dead set on my prey. But no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, no matter how many different strategies or approaches I take, it just never matters. I just can't ever hunt anything. I just can't do it. I just can't. <sighs> And my packmates, well, <laughs> they are not having any of that, obviously. They look at me with disgust, as always, and tell me, we're tired of you eating food you never earned. We're tired of you dragging us down. We're tired of you being a useless piece of trash who has never contributed anything to this pack. So, we're kicking you out. It's time you take some responsibility, figure out how to hunt something or starve to death. For all we care. I mean, I get it. I know they gave me plenty of chances. I know I messed all of them up. But I didn't mean to, you know? I know I'm useless. I know I can't do anything. I know all that. I don't mean to be like that. 
I just am. That's just me. Honestly, I don't even know why you let me in. I'm not good for anything. I feel so ashamed that you even let me in. I feel like your food is wasted on me. Your attention is wasted on me. I can't even believe you're even bothering to listen to me. Why did you even let me in? I can't think of a single thing I'm good for. Can you? Petting? You want to pet me? You think I'm cute? <laughs> well, okay, you can pet me if you want. Do whatever you want. I won't bite. I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me. <laughs> Is it really that enjoyable to pet me like this? You look so... smug. It's cute, actually. <laughs> Honestly, I think you're the cute one here. <laughs> but I'm really glad you can give me such a happy expression. I'm so tired from my old packmates, always looking at me with disgust. It's nice to finally be appreciated a little. It's nice to get some positive attention. Could you scratch me behind the ears a bit? Pretty please? Sorry. I know you saved my life and all, and you're probably the only person who has ever so much as smiled at me, but I'm... <laughs> Pretty please? I'd really like it behind the ears. Oh wow, that's amazing! That's... And I thought the food was good. <laughs> Maybe I died out in that blizzard after all because I think I've gone to heaven. <laughs> but I guess I'm not in that blizzard now. I'm here. Safe. With you. You keep me safe. You protect me. At least for as long as you let me stay. Not to burden you. But... Could I stay longer? Please? Humans sometimes keep pets, right? Maybe I could be your pet. I promise. I'd be well behaved. It's the least I could do. Well, the only thing really, since I don't have a lot to offer. But I guess if I was your pet, you could pet me. You could pet me as long as you like. Maybe then you could always have that wonderful warm expression on your face. And I don't know how else I could be of use to you. But... Could you pet me? I don't know what else I can do. But it looks lonely in that blanket of yours. My fur is pretty warm. Maybe if I cut it with you I could keep you warm. Only if you want to, of course. It's just that I never met someone like you. If I left you now, then I know I'd never be able to meet anyone like you ever again. I just... I can't let you get away. I can't lose you. I need you. You're the only good thing that's ever happened to me. So, if there's anything I can do to convince you to let me stay, just let me know. You saved my life. I owe my life to you. So, I'd do anything to stay with you. I would even give my life for you. I would even die for you. <laughs> if I can't stay with you, i just die out there anyway. If not to the cold, then to starvation. But at least, if I died for you, I'd die with purpose. You could even bury me in your backyard. I'd be glad just to be near you. I'd be happy just to be near you, even if I wouldn't be alive to experience it. 
but I guess sacrificing my life to you isn't going to be of much use to you. But now that I think about it, maybe there's a way I could be of use to you. I couldn't help but notice that you're awfully alone here in this cabin. There's no one to keep you company. Especially on nights as lonely as these. There's no one to keep your bed warm. Even though it looks like just the right size for you and me. If you don't want me to be your pet, maybe I could be your mate. Just a suggestion. I'll be whatever you want me to be. I'd die for you. Being a pet or mate isn't much of a stretch. I'd even kill for you. But obviously, you already know, I'm not very good at killing, <laughs> but maybe we could find out what I'm good at. Whether it's being your pet or your mate, honestly it doesn't matter, I just want to be something to you. So what do you say? Can I be something to you? <laughs>